Hey guys, it's Christy, the Canine Professor. So I wanted to make a quick little video for you guys because there's something that I hear a lot that uh, I wanted to actually show you guys what this looks like, like from from my angle, and why I use this tool. So. Some of you guys know I am an e-collar trainer. I don't use them on every dog, but uh, my off-leash dogs all get the e-collar, and I'll use them in different scenarios for different things as well. But uh, not every dog in situation calls for it, so that's totally fine. But what I do hear a lot is that people are afraid to use this tool because they're afraid that they might hurt their dog or that their dog's gonna hate them or that their dog's like all of a sudden going to like become this, this shut down animal that doesn't respond to anything. I wanted to give you a quick little insight into actually what Rufus does when I pull his e-collar out. He, as you'll see, he loves the e-collar. And uh, I wanted to show you guys to maybe put some of your fears at rest. Let's get it angled for you guys because I want you guys to see that Kit Kat and her little pedestal back there. So, let me grab it. You guys will know when I grab it. Let me try to get this for you. Pretty good. So if this looks like a dog that's afraid of it or scared of it or hates this being on, then I don't know what an excited dog looks like. This isn't as excited as he gets. But you can see the interest. Where you going to put this on? Where are you going? <laughs> good boy. Very good. <laughs> so if this looks like a super sad dog that is scared to, of the tool and all that stuff that propaganda tries to tell you, um, proof is wrong. Rufy can't wait. At least we're going to do something fun. All right, guys. Bye.